Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a perplexing issue that many Linux users encounter when working with Docker. Our viewer is facing a challenge with accessing Docker containers from the host over a dedicated Mac VLAN network. Let's break down the setup and see what's going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of accessing Docker containers from the host over a Mac VLAN network, we first need to understand how Mac VLAN works. Mac VLAN allows containers to have their own Mac addresses, making them appear as separate devices on the network. In your setup, the host cannot reach its own containers because of how MacVLAN isolates the network. The host is on a different network segment than the containers, which is why it cannot communicate directly with them. To enable communication from the host to the containers, you can create a bridge network or use a workaround by adding a route on the host. This allows the host to recognize the Mac VLAN subnet. If you choose to add a route, use the command shown on the screen. This command tells the host how to reach the Mac VLAN subnet where your containers reside. After adding the route, Test the connectivity by pinging the container's IP address from the host. If successful, your host should now be able to communicate with its containers over the Mac VLAN network. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble accessing Docker containers from your host over a Mac VLAN network, it's important to know that the host can't communicate with local Mac VLAN devices without special support from an external switch. According to Red Hat documentation, when a virtual machine uses a Mac VTAP interface, it can communicate with other guests and external hosts, but not with its own host. This behavior is by design. The way the host's Ethernet connects to the Mac VTAP bridge prevents traffic from bouncing back to the host's IP stack. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.